Hey what's up guys, it's Brian here and welcome back to part 7 of our pour through career mode and guys as you might recall last episode we did have a dreaded amount of ties but I'm going to make sure that this episode we are going to win. Um, I'm going to do that by beating Villainous and going ahead and getting back into first place. So we're going to do that and before we go off and do that I was just informed by Finland, who I forgot I was the coach for for a second, that I had to had a national lineup uh, in place, so we're going to do that afterwards, but let's get into this game, guys. So going into this game, guys, we were still the top scoring team in the league. <laughs> As you can tell, some of our players came back from international break. We have Maxi, Mykon, Bruno Marzini, Leon, Mbula, Danilo, Andre Andre, Corona, Abubakar, and Brahimi. The classic lineup with the C's in the back. So let's see how we do. So the game started off a little bit more possessive. Nothing really big happening at all. Um, a couple of shots, but nothing special. Kind of annoying to be honest, it was the classic computer thing to do where they just passed around the whole time and made it very, very, very annoying to play. But finally in the 22nd minute, Corona pulls off this great run, pushes everybody off and get off me he says, and scores a great goal. Look at this goal again. That was pure class from Corona right there, and we were 1 0 in the 23rd minute. The game went back to the regular old possession play until the 35th minute when once again we were on the attack, this time Andre Andre launching a ball towards Mbula, Mbula goes into the box, dribbles a little bit outwards, and then finesses it in with a great long distance goal. Wow, that was good, 2-0, 35th minute. And so halftime came and we were up 2-0 guys. Um, on the other side of the league we had a couple of uh, we had a couple of games also going on at the same time. Most specifically, both Sporting and Benfica were playing. Sporting were tying Stubel and Benfica was losing to Madeira, which is really Benfica are doing really bad, but Sporting tying is actually pretty good. But nevertheless, we move on into the second half. I was pressing pretty hard, having a couple of good attacks, when I noticed something pretty uh, particular. The goalie that Billinus is using is, I think they're like second or third string goalie, Rebedu. Um, I, looked, I had to look him up to find out who exactly this goalkeeper was. So, I mean, that probably helped me out with those two goals. I mean, it's a good thing, because maybe moving Twitter would have saved those. Villainous did have their own shots, uh, one specifically the Cassis had to make a great save for here, 
But other than that, there was nothing too special about the rest of the game. And so it ended 2-0 in the 90th minute. We were up again. Thank you. That's right, guys. We're up in first place. We have the best goal differential. We're solid right now. We're going into our next game, which is going to be in the Champions Cup. And we are playing Olympiacos, who are coached by former sporting coach Marco Silva. And beforehand, I wanted to go ahead and praise Marco Silva because, you know, but I also got a player conversation mail, and it was from Helton saying that he was not happy because he wasn't playing as much. You think a guy that's 37 years old and about to retire should be content with what he has, but no. So you know what? Your wish is my command, and as you can tell by the lineup, Helton was starting once again in the Champions Cup, this time against Olympiacos. Olympiacos were in the last probably losing to PSG while I was in second with one point. Basel was in third also with one point because of that tie we had earlier on. The first half started a little turbulent, you know, Olympiacos were pressing hard, having a couple of good attacks. But so was I, and um, just to add on, very good player is Kevin Dix. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, but that uh, right back I got, the young guy, Kevin Dix, he's really good, honestly. I mean, I like Tete, and of course I love Maxi, but I, you know what? I'm going to play with, with this guy a little bit more now that I've had a little bit of uh, experience playing with him. But guys, an awful thing happened in the 18th minute, and by awful thing, I mean a goal, and it was from a player that was just debuting on Olympia, because day of Brown, or Brown and Day, or whatever you want to call him, I don't even know how to pronounce his name, but still, he scored against me, and Helton could have probably saved that, and you know who could have probably saved that? Casillas, but I didn't start him, because you know, Helton was whining about it, so this is why I, I start Casillas Helton, and... <laughs> After a bad corner, I got yet another corner off that corner, and this corner I scored off of in the cheapest of ways, but whatever. A goal is a goal, and Bruno Martins Indy puts it into the back of the net. It was 1-1. So with the tie, I started to play a little bit better. My defense was getting better. Even Helton was playing a little bit better, thankfully. <laughs> But I spoke too soon because guess what? They scored again. And it was the dumbest goal. It was off a corner. And Helton goes up a little bit. But then he doesn't go back. So he just lets the goal wide open. And we get scored on. And, and we go into the second half 2 1 down. And I was so upset at Helton. I mean, you know, I just I couldn't believe this guy was playing this bad. He's definitely not going to be playing much at all. For me, it's Casillas all the way from now on. So I wanted to go into the second half guns blazing because I was not going to lose in the Champions Cup. And after getting my big consecutive corner, Brahimi launched it in and uh, it didn't do too well, but then we passed it off 
and my man BMI, none other than BMI, slots it in the corner of the net. What a well placed goal from my center back. Oh my gosh, thankfully we were 2 2 in the 60th minute, thanks to two goals from my center back, which really makes you think about how bad my attack is playing. Regardless, we kept going and pressing hard because I needed that win. And guess what? In the 82nd minute, after a great through ball and a great run from Abubakar, we got our goal. Yes, right in the nick of time, Abubakar scores to make it 3-2. Just what we needed to make up for Helton's lack of goalkeeping. So we ended off 3-2. Thankfully, guys, we have just secured three points in the Champions Cup. Um, thanks, in most part, to the two-shot, two-goal wonder right here, Bruno Martinez Indy. Yes, guys. So, yeah, guys, we got a good place in there. Afterwards, I went into the office, and um, I found out that I still had to put in my Finland squad. If there's any Finnish viewers... I'm sorry, but I have no clue about any player on this team, so I just, you know, I just guessed when putting this team together. But regardless of, guys, for some reason, Pastor Freda has just taken over the league. But don't worry, next episode, I will make sure to cement that first place for you guys. We are in second place in the group stage of the Champions Cup, with PSG being in first. But I'm going to make sure to also take down PSG when I play them. It might be hard, but I'm going to do it. So that's all coming up next episode, guys. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, please leave a like, leave a comment what you think, subscribe if you can, and peace.